inside the Niger Delta. Welcome back. It's Inside the Niger Delta, the authentic voice of Nigeria's oil-rich region. The human rights community in Port Harcourt, the river state capital, has demanded justice for late Chima Ikunado, an automobile technician who allegedly died in police custody and fought as arrested by the law enforcement agents in December last year. This follows the release of the friends of the late Chima Ikunado last week from a correctional center after several weeks of incarceration. Correspondent Chika Abodozie tells us more. The late Chima Ikunado was arrested alongside four of his friends on the 19th of December 2019. The young men, all automobile technicians plying their trade at the popular Ikoku automobile spare parts market, were slammed with robbery charges and detained for several weeks. They were allegedly tortured in police custody and subsequently charged to court for their alleged involvement in a robbery operation. Upon their discharge and acquittal by Portacot Magistrate Court, which found no substance in the charges preferred against them, the four surviving suspects narrated their ordeal at the hands of officers attached to the Maiwan police station, codenamed e crack in Portacot. They refuse us making call. They hang us. From 11 o'clock in the morning till 5 o'clock in the evening. Chema Kumbiadi, yes. That is how Chema died. That is how Chema died. And up us here in the prison yard, look at me. Is that how Nigerian police is normally supposed to work? They are just killing innocent souls like that. But I'm promising that man, the entire generation, eh, he will not go and punish, he will go and punish. He will receive it, his family. Nigerians have a fundamental right to uh, the dignity of the human person, not to be brutally tortured in any way. And then, of course, uh, the Anti-Torture Act also uh, criminalizes and uh, abhors torture in any way. So beginning with the, um, the Eagle Crack team that actually arrested them and meted that kind of brutal and murderous torture on them, it is not acceptable in our laws. We must at all points rise to uh, defend the rights of citizens collectively and condemn this kind of excesses and extrajudicial um, actions of uh, arresting authorities. Shortly after last week's judicial pronouncement on the fate of the Eco Coup 4, their close relatives spoke to our crew. The owners of this vehicle that have come and they bring the evidence of this vehicle and they also said that these guys are mechanic, they are not an Arabas. The police gave them, uh, accused them that the Arabas, the kidnappers, that they stole this car. But they still release this vehicle, this cars to the owner after they bring all the evidence documentation that why the warrant the police to release this way but well, I don't know what lead them to us hang these guys beat them up uh, uh, like this to, that lead to the death of chairman they should serve punishment for this because if the government keep quiet over this they will still repeat it they should they need to pay damages on these four people that are alive and on the case of this chairman it shouldn't go that, that it shouldn't go like that in his reaction Police Public Relations Officer in River State, Namdi Omoni, has appealed to all interested parties to remain calm pending the outcome of an ongoing investigation into the alleged role of the Eagle Crack team in the death of late Chima Ikunado. The preliminary report is out. It's just that we're putting finishing touches. We want to, the, want to conduct the autopsy, a second autopsy that will be supervised by the team investigating and even the family of uh, the disease, so that's where we are, and I do know that um, at the end of this, la this last lap of investigation, the CP will uh, address the press, you know, and possibly if um, our men are indicted, there will be appropriate punishment um, for them. The Nigerians are being killed like chicken. We die every day, and nobody can come out to say, why are we dying like this? It's high time we tell ourselves the truth that Nigerians need to be saved. The police is being paid by our taxpayers' money. The gun they use, their, their motors, everything they use is being paid by taxpayers' money. We need to be protected. Our demands are that another autopsy and a proper coronary inquest done to ascertain the true position of what killed Chema. It is unheard of, it is illegal for the police to, on its own, without the family, to go ahead and carry out an autopsy. The two persons who own this car 
I've come out to say that our cars were not missing, that these guys are our mechanics that we give our, give our car, and have equally said that they know these boys historically that they are not Arabs. So if the cars, that is the plant of this argument, if the cars, that is the issue at hand, if the owners of the cars have said these cars were not stolen and they didn't report anything to the police, that the facts speak for itself, immediately there should be an order for these officers and they should be prosecuted immediately. The human rights community in River State has since vowed to explore all legal avenues at its disposal to allow justice take its course in the case of the Ikoku Five. Inside the Niger Delta, 